Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the CS50W Project 2. And I have opened here another window, which is an incognito window. So once you come in here, as you see, you need to enter a name in order to enter the chat. So on the left side is a user already who has entered the name. And there are no channels, so uh, let's create some channels. Create a channel NZ, another channel NL, and JP. So three channels created. And what you see is there are uh, notifications shown in the messages. So um, NL has been created by Daisy and JP has been created by Daisy. And uh, not the first one, NZ, because at the time it wasn't, uh, it, it didn't exist. So that's why that message was not shown. Anyway, uh, what I want to say is that if you don't have any channel selected previously, the first channel will be selected. And the first, I mean the first one that was created in the channel. So not alphabetically, because now alphabetically JP is on the top. As I sorted the list alphabetically. And now let's introduce a new user, Theo. And Theo uh, will come in and the first channel that was created is selected and opened, which is NZ. We can do some chatting. Hi everyone. And what you also can see is that it's very quick, but the first notification here on top disappeared. And the reason for that is I set the number of messages to be, uh, to be stored only three. And that's why when the fourth message appeared, the oldest one has been removed. And this is for demo purpose to show you that it does remove the oldest message. And in the requirements, it says uh, to store 100. So I can easily change it in the application.py on the server side to change it to 100 so that only 100 last messages are stored. And uh, you also see that uh, you can remove one's own message. So Daisy can remove easily this message here. And yeah, let's say I type another message and then they demonstrate to you removing of this one. As you see, there's an animation involved, CSS animation I used with the JavaScript and the message has been deleted. And there's another notification showing that a certain user has deleted his or her message as well. So those are the personal touch things that are added to the app. Deleting one own message and showing a notification, as well as showing a notification when a channel has been created. So I can, for example, create another channel with the same name and uh, you see the notification here channel name already exists please choose another one and it disappeared the warnings around after five seconds and then what uh, what you can also do is actually if you don't type anything you also receive a message uh, a warning actually please write something before sending it to prevent sending empty messages and now let's go to another channel, NL. And there's nothing. Hi, hi, hi. And I want to demonstrate to you, if you close the browser and you come back in, then it should have remembered your name and it displays your name as well as the channel you had been on previously that you left open before you leave. So in this case, it should show NL channel and it happens. So those are the things that I want to demonstrate. And well, that was it. And all the requirements that were in there, I have implemented, uh, implemented basically. Thank you for watching and have a good day ahead.